Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about my January reading wrap up. I also included some of my December books because I hadn't talked about those yet. Um, you will see me with a different hair color throughout this video because I did dye my hair yellow but it'll be blonde throughout mostly the rest of it. Um, so don't mind that. And I also got my nails done. So yeah. So that's what's going on today. So without further ado, let's get started, and I hope you enjoy the video. Hello. Hello, girl. Cats. It is not the end of January yet, but I wanted to go ahead and... Talk about some books. Because these are the ones that I have read so far. Oh, that's not even all... We're talking about the ones that I have read so far, the ones that I haven't read yet, the ones that I have DNF'd, and reasons why for all of it. I'm going to talk about the ones I read in January. So far, we still have a week and four days, so 11 days left of January to read books. I'm currently listening to an audiobook. Um, I forget the name of it. The audiobook I'm currently reading is Too Late by Riley Dark. It's only like a five hour listen, and so it was a thriller, and I'm just like, thought it might be interesting, and it was free. So, and I had like 4.31 stars on Goodreads, so I was like, might as well give it a try. It's interesting so far. I've, I'm about two hours into it, so I have about three hours left. Okay. So books I read in December started with the first after book. My opinions on this book. I think I gave it a three stars on Goodreads. I got through it really fast. The first book was interesting. I feel like if I read this alone and moved on, I would have been good. I would have been like, okay, that's good. But I think the way the book ended, I wanted to keep reading. So my first initial thoughts were like, okay, this is interesting let me keep reading okay so it was good it was good but good as in like three star good not good as in like four four and a half five star good then i read after we collided okay this this book i also gave it three stars it didn't really get any better than the first it is basically the same thing every single chapter or the same type of thing every single chapter but just switched a little bit like they just changed a little bit there's no interesting plot twists there's there's nothing exciting or different going on in this book it is the same thing over and over and over again then i attempted to read after we fell this is a thick book 800 over eight, 800 plus pages of what the same stuff that i had in these two books, I DNF this at a page like 150 something. It's giving very pick me vibes. It's giving. Don't read this. Then I read It Ends With Us. I rated this one four stars on Goodreads. I I really enjoy this book. I think I finished it in three days. I write little reviews inside my book and I tab it and everything. Um, I just have, like, lines and things that were said in the book that I really like. Um, I don't necessarily like writing in my books. I don't know. I wish Ryle and Lily never happened. That's better. That's not a spoiler. Um, or, like, they never got together. And I said I wanted to see more of the Atlas and Lily. And I wanted to see, like, their happy ending and everything. Because I was rooting for them the whole book. And I was like, the ending of the book was kind of slow. Um, And then I was like, the epilogue brought it all together. As well as the last sentence in the chapter. In chapter 35. And then. I guess I rated this on, like, a out of 10 scale. So I said it was a 9 out of 10 so good book but i think that was before i downloaded goodreads and now i do um stars based off of goodreads stars 
so this book on goodreads i rated a four out of five stars now we're getting into our my january reads um i read all your perfects by colleen hoover um i started reading at the very end of december but i finished it pretty sure i finished it january 1st so i'm still counting this as a january read because i did finish it in january there were times where i was thinking oh this is a two-star read then there were times that i was thinking oh this is a four-star read the only times that i was thinking oh it's a four-star read was like the very last chapter of the book in the very first chapter of the book i genuinely found this book to be boring and slow paced i said that the ending is really good everything else is very slow paced and not that enjoyable um so i gave it three stars just because i was i would have gave it two stars but the four star at the end kind of balanced it out to three stars so that's how i was writing it maybe you should have given it 2.5 why did i read it all the way through because i want to finish every book on my shelf people say that colin hoover's books are hit or miss and i can see that in january i read shatter me this book i got through so fast it was such an easy read so i only tabbed three parts in this book um i find it easier to tab romance books this is a dystopian novel with romance subplots i didn't understand the hype of it at first i said that i was kind of iffy at first but this book is mainly world building the end begins the rest of the novels and then I said very, very interesting, and I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. Unpopular opinion, which leads me to unra unravel me. The first book was better. I think that there was a lot of, like, drama going on in here. I feel like this book could have been shortened down. And I don't know. People are saying that the third book, which I do have over there, is the best one out of all of them. But it has more romance than the first two books or out of like any of the other books it's kind of more based on romance versus these um versus the story i don't know i think that they're interesting i can see how certain people like them i am gonna keep reading them i might only read the original trilogy i wouldn't say that they're the best books in the world but i wouldn't say that they are the worst books in the world they're mildly different and interesting which brings me to my current read. It Starts With Us by Colleen Hoover, which is the second book in the duology of It Ends With Us. On chapter 12, page 87, I just started it like a day ago. So I would say I'm going to try. It is Saturday right now. It is the 21st of January. Um... I'm gonna try and finish it by like Monday because I kind of want to start a new book on Monday and get through I'm, I'm gonna try and get through this one and then get through one more book in December I listened to fire in fire in the frost I think is what it is um, it is the first book in a series and I think I gave that I think I gave that one a four stars. That one was pretty interesting. It was it was like a short read. It's like witchy vibe. Spirits, ghosts. But not like scary, just kind of like a little bit of mystery. Definitely a YA. Um I found it interesting. I wanna read Lock Every Door by Riley Sager, but I don't want to read it at night and I like to read at night before i go to bed but because it's a mystery thriller if any part of it is even remotely like eerie i don't want to read that at night and then at night i'm probably gonna read the first book in the selection series which is the selection i have read that book before but it's been a couple years and i want to read it again because i got the whole series I remember that book being a pretty easy read. It's fantasy, dystopian, and pretty interesting. And it has romance in it, so... I think that if I read that one at night, I'll probably get through that one pretty fast. And then read Lock Every Door by Riley Saker during the day. Once it is 
January 31st, and I have read all the books I'm able to read in January, then I will finish up this video, and I will get to you on January 31st, so see you then, peace. Okay, so I finished It Starts With Us, it took me a lot longer than I expected it to, but this is It Starts With Us, but I finished it. Um, I said it was, like, slower pace, um, and a lot of people said it felt like reading, like, a longer version of the epilogue of It Ends With Us. Um, I like the happy ending, but I wish that we got, like, more straight to the point, um, but it did fill the part of my heart that needed filling from the first book, um, and I gave it 3.75 stars. Um, I partially agree with the epilogue parts because I wish that what happened in the end of the book is how the book kind of started so that we could get more of Lily and Alice's life together past that point. Um, I felt like that would have made it not feel so much like an epilogue. Overall, it was a pretty good book. I felt like we all needed the Lily and Atlas ending. Um, I just felt like if it was kind of done a little bit differently, then it would have been more like book feeling if that makes sense versus epilogue feeling more of like a storyline i guess is what i'm trying to say but overall it's pretty good i wouldn't give it like a total four stars but i wouldn't give it a three star either so compromise and i gave it 3.75 stars um i'm not sure if i went down and said three or four stars on goodreads but yeah and that's actually the last book i read in january but on the 31st and the 30th, I started reading the first book in the Inheritance Games series, which is the Inheritance Games. Um, so far, this book is so good. I love it so much. Um, I can definitely see how it's a five-star read. Very fast-paced, short chapters, nothing to complain about. It is a trilogy. Um, basically, this high school girl inherits billions of dollars from this philanthropist but the only trick is that she has to live in this um it's called the hawthorne house with the philanthropist's family for an entire year and along with that comes riddles and games so it is a mystery like riddle type of thing it's not scary but it's um it's got like riddles and stuff and it. it's really interesting with a subplot of romance so i recommend this book so much um i know it's super hyped up but i really like it and I definitely want to read the second and third book. Pretty sure the third book is the Final Gambit. Came out last year. Um, along with that book, I am also reading Just Mercy by Brian Stevenson. Um, this one has this one has super high ratings on Goodreads, almost five stars on Goodreads. Um, it is a book I'm reading for school, so I do not own this copy. I'm just borrowing it. I'm not sure, I haven't started reading it yet, but it's kind of like about the injustice in the criminal system. I think I said that right. Criminal justice system. Um, but it's kind of like people who are wrongly condemned and like, like trapped, you know, when they didn't deserve to be put um, like in prison, per se. Um, but he goes in and delves into all of that. It's a book I'm reading for my AP Lang class. So, I think it's supposed to be super interesting. It's not something that I would necessarily pick up myself, which is why I'm kind of like not really wanting to start it yet because there's there's like other stories that I want to read. And when school gives you a book to read, it's, it's just, I get this heard from reading it because it's kind of more, um, like mandatory that you read it versus something that's more you picked it up because you enjoy it so to speak the inheritance games and just mercy is what i'm kicking off my february reads with and i enjoyed january reads i do think i got a lot of slow paced books this month but that is okay we will keep reading um i hope i get some really good reads during february i'm definitely kicking it off with a good start if you have any suggestions please let me know i did get some comments in my last video like um for an organizing thing like a little trick for it 
and then also a suggestion for some or like a request for some reading vlogs which i will definitely do i'm gonna do a physical tbr like showing video like i want to show you guys my physical tbr um probably do another barnes and nobles haul shopping video type of thing i don't know i'm probably gonna do a bit more vlogs and that type of stuff in february so definitely look out for that and if you have any suggestions please let me know and they can be book related non-related whatever definitely enjoy the suggestions and i will use them in future videos and if you want to see anything just definitely let me know and leave a comment down below um, but thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed don't forget to like subscribe comment turn on your post notifications for future videos and i hope you have a fantastic day peace